long as you know that ain't the way to the board. Pain's coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? He's not up when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. <clears throat> ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. <laughs> well, this sure is exciting to watch, but you know that's out of range. Coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get Looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Hmm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift?
Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal. Now. On it. Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. They've seen it. to the fort. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey! Got another riddle for you. What gets bigger the more you take away from Well, let's see. Abstract guys, baby. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stomp the stomp. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. How? Oh. Watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important. Form of the day. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. Say good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
So this lady then, the lady of the forge, ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee high to a noak. But Sindri had never had it, said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so. Reverend, are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, I'm. <laughs> It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Hey, this place ain't some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out, Johnny. The spiky, silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. Jump! This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tape. Since she you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Cody, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's on to the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of it. But we're going to make it. I was almost following him for the moment there. We're good. Crank it.
She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Victor almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without you. We got volunteers! That's the stuff! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a fuck to learn. The hell? Ain't this just like old times here? I just put this more forebodingly myself. Oh, 
Grateful, sir. Go! Oh. Brother, that germ's going to pass on high. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Now listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. You know, uh, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Right? Gets bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No. That's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Them eyeballs are taking over them ground. We better beat them out. <laughs>
your next lesson? <laughs> Take note of that there, watch him, hoos. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into <laughs> it head on. You get extra credit. favorite ask of the both of you and we can call a square what happened down there in the forge with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed well for a period of time perhaps Mamiya. oh very well these ugly parts maybe those grim will take him down Ha ha ha! 
me. Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Two hours later. Been to do or no? <laughs> oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Grok's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a, has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands, I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind. You're sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what? kind of God is that, Kratos? What do you even know of Godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. 